Just get them lips on. Well, they were dry. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, my hand is stuck. All righty then. We have a lot of goodies to talk about here. Hey, yeah, the table is full. Well, well not here. on my side. No, yours is very empty. Well, take the JoJo. I like I'll it. Put this here so I can add things to the chair when we're done. And let's hope nothing gets spilled on. Uh oh, I have a mess happening here. All right. Hi everyone. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Cozy Up Knit. I'm Sarah. I'm Katie. I'm Jamie. And we are sisters. Welcome to our knitting podcast, where we will talk about all of the things on the table. Yeah. Oh my goodness, we just came back from a fiber show, so we have lots of extra goodies and cast-ons. And it was how was your so weekend, ladies? Much fun. fun. That was a blast. Like first of all, we always have fun going to Burns. Yeah. Like and staying there, it's just a nice, relaxing. That's weekend. guaranteed fun. Yeah. yeah. So, but the show itself was so much fun. And I'm how still tired from it. Friday night. Yeah, so much goldies. Fun. That like, was a blast. I hope that that becomes a thing because Ladies, it was so we want fun to become a thing. Yeah, it was fun. Those girls put on a good show. Thanks yeah. to Crystal at the Yarn Rebels and all her rebels and Lori, of course, and Carrie and Angela. Hey. Yeah, it was awesome. All the peeps. It was so much fun. <sighs> so, guys, I got a yarn knot happening. Oh, that's sad. Trying to deal. And I've only seen you for an hour. No, just kidding. Kids. Kids. So we definitely want to show you all the goodies. Um, some people have cast on brand new projects and finished a bunch of things already. That'd be this Only one. one. I've cast on something, but I, I did finished. not finish. Okay, fine. But I'm far. You're far. Okay, so we'll talk about that. We've got some JoJo bags here. Jo, jo has filled her shop. She got to put out some bags. Um, yep, she had, was part of the show and tell for Golden's yes. Gathering. She sold a few bags, got to talk about you know her designs and different things, so that was cool. And so we have JoJo bags, and we've got all our yarn and some of the little prezzies that we got. Mm -hmm. So I don't know where to start. Want to start with, are we wearing anything? I you am. Yes, I am. Are wearing, wearing something. And this is a new design that is yep. out on Ravelry. I'm not going to take it off my head, so I'm going to get real close to the camera. Yeah. Because my hair Well, we showed it last week, too. I don't have Was the it done, though? It wasn't done. And I'll, it wasn't look at, done. My hair is no, really frizzy. So That's, here's the one that Katie made me. Yes. Except so, I did it wrong. I didn't follow the pattern. But yeah. I like it like this too. And it's easy no, to, to do it like this. But that's a version. It is a version. So it was funny because when I had the pattern, Jamie handed it to me like this. This is what I thought the pattern was. <laughs> no, I should have opened it up and yeah, read the, the entire rest of pattern. the pattern. Okay, so let's show. Okay, so this is what. Okay, so just back up the train. This is called Comfort and Joy. When you look it up on Rav, you use the little oh, and symbol. Name. Yes. Not the word and, and it will come up. <laughs> or you can just click the link in our bio on Instagram, but it's come, or when you drop the links below. Yes. It's in our link tree, Comfort and Joy. And it is the slipper sock and headband, which we've been showing for the last couple weeks. It's knit out of ginger snap yarn. So this is one of the pattern anyway. And then Katie's was just fun because. This is the headband here. You've seen it many times. Because I wore it for like two months. Yep. And then the slipper socks, I don't have a picture of, but you've seen them. Anyway, Katie knit Sarah um, yeah. one and did not add the garter stripes in between. No. But that's okay because we were talking Make about me doing another it. One. Actually, you guys legit were talking about no, it. Should yeah. we do I did the garter it. stripes or not? So she decided not yeah. to. And I didn't have a preference. I said yes yeah. to the garter stripes just because that's what I had seen. So I, I, like, I like it with the garter stripes. Oh, no. But I also like it like that too. I know. It They're can go either nice. way. So that's up on Rav. If you were at Goldie's, you have a free download coupon that came in your little Goldie's bag. If you are a Patreon, you have a coupon code for a discount. So go ahead and scoop that up. And then we have two more patterns releasing this weekend, which we'll talk about um, in a little bit, but they'll be released at Knit City. One, we'll, oh, we'll just talk about it now because Sarah's not here. We've got one releasing at the, if you're at Knit City, drop by and see Brittany of Crux Fibers. You will want to get some of her wool. It's just lovely. So the shawl that we're releasing for her is called Coalescent Shawl. Um, because it just all comes together. It's such a nice name. It's such a nice name. I've Brittany. never heard of coalescence. 
before. I, I hadn't either. And then Sarah's like, oh yeah, that totally suits it. Yeah. And then explained to me what it meant. So Coalescent Shawl will be released Saturday as well as the Fireweed Wrap, which is going to be found at the Fireweed Fiber Co. booth. So those two are coming out on Saturday. So keep an I eye for miss, those. I miss it. You miss what? My, my wrap. You miss your wrap. Oh, I'm sorry. It's it was cozy. so much fun to knit. The yarn was so nice to knit with. Oh. Like, the colors, I That'd loved it. be such a good one just to bust your stash. Oh, yes. Like, literally all your minis. Oh. Oh. We have all of the kids here right today. With all of the and children. And we love them. We love, love them. them so much. Oh, they're all coming up for snacks. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I actually just went down and it was the banging on the camera. Oh, and they were they were just sitting in the dark on the couch. I didn't Carol even hear was banging that. on the drum I and they were all just screaming at the top of their lungs. They spoiled my plan. Oh, I but didn't hear even hear I didn't that. hear the yes, drum so either. went down, Auntie Jackie? You did. Me. Oh, yeah. yeah. She was down there and I was thinking to myself, why is she down there? Oh, man. No, I that, didn't hear that the drum. drumming was just getting into There's my a, bones uh, whatever. and into my, like... It, the sound was going right in my ears. It was yep. in your ears, as our dad would say. That but sound, that turn music that was down, getting in that my is ears. Getting into my ears. So, <laughs> all right, are we almost done? Just take them right down. Yeah, and go, please. Just take it all down. <laughs> don't don't lose the fruit snacks in your mouth. They've got to find. Yeah, one be, one's frozen. Be careful chewing. You're supposed to be careful. Probably having fruit snacks after going to the dentist. Probably not a great idea. Whatever, just close your eyes. Just pretend you don't know what's going on behind you. Yeah. Sorry, we do have a lot of kids. If you're new, welcome. Welcome to the chaos. This Why aren't we called Cozy Up Chaos? See them? They're literally oh. busting into yeah. Granny's cupboards. Shh. Okay, goodbye. Oh my gosh. At least they're not fighting. Yeah. Um, okay, let's get this done. So, what else? So you're wearing the headband. Yep. I am wearing the Mayma cardigan by Pippin Pin. If I don't say what it is, then someone will ask. So it is 100%. So nice. I like 100% recommend this pattern. Yes. Mayma, M A E M A. Yeah. Anything and, by Pippin Pin, yeah. honestly. Anything. So this yarn is Minute Cravings. If you're going to Knit City, stop by the Minute Cravings booth. Nice. This is her linen. I don't know if she still has the space, but it's a wool linen blend. So there you go. Okay, that's what we're wearing. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I, what were you wearing? I just wore this. Your Spark Cardi. Yeah. That's what it oh, right. We couldn't think of that last week. Week. The name right. of it. We couldn't think of the Spark Cardi oh last gosh, week. Oh my gosh, you guys. Talking about Cardi's. Oh. I am going to ban myself from Instagram. So if, it, if it's quiet on Instagram for a while from Cozy Up, which it usually is, it's because I cannot stop casting on things and looking up new patterns. Hohe is releasing a new pattern on Friday. Yes, I bought yarn for her newest one, but and anyway. And you'll see it because it's beautiful. It's called Granny Cardigan. Ooh. It is my dream. It Ooh. is cables. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh. It's gorgeous. That is nice. Okay, it's blowing out. Yeah. What you need to do is go look up Granny Cardigan. Hohe's Granny Cardigan. Like, oh, those not even any yet. You guys. I might, oh man, I might have had my cart full of things, but then I didn't go over bumps and press them and accidentally yeah. buy yarn. Because that totally happened on our drive home from the uh, show. It 100% happened. We were looking up for more, which I'll show in a bit, but it's this alpaca from, um, where is it from? Knit Picks? No, it's from Lion, Lion Brand. Brand. Oh my gosh. So, so she anyway. had stuff in her cart, hit a bump, and her thumb literally tapped the screen and just purchased it. Yeah, <laughs> it was meant to be. So good thing you weren't like... Didn't have like other things in there or I whatever. Know. Like it's just really seriously funny. meant to be. But that granny, I've always wanted. Don't That's you just nice. want like your classic cabled yeah. cardigan? Cardigan. Yeah. Yes. And I love that it's called Granny Cardigan because we, we call our granny. granny. So I think I'll have to put that on my needles eventually. Yes, I agree. Go stash dive and see what I've got. But anyway, that's what we're all wearing. Let's talk about what we're knitting on. Yes, let's I don't do know. that. Well, because that will kind of segue into all of our purchases type thing. Like, we talk about what we're knitting. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, um, hold on. Here we go. I'm ready now. Oh, they want the, they want the playing cards? They want to play Mafia. Well, where is it? Oh, my God. Well, should we take a quick peek? I mean, it's not pause? sleeping on the cards. Like, they're, they have to no. be there. I don't know what we were talking about. 
Oh, right. Well, we were, that's why I paused it where I paused it because I know what we're doing. Because we hadn't said anything, so you go ahead. Yeah. Go All ahead. right. So, as you guys remember from last week's podcast, I got very excited to knit Katie's um, double date sweater. So, I promptly stole Jamie's yarn for it. Did we talk about that last week? Like, we ripped it out on here. Yeah. We had it. We, we ripped lit- it out I literally on pulled podcast. it out yes, of my right. basket and ripped it out. So, yeah. I've got knit back basically almost as much as what we had, you had knit. Well, no, more than what you had knit. He got his little, he was at the dentist and got a little toy. Oh. Um, anyway, so, and then Katie had the extra of this pink color from that yarn habit from Tara. It's funny because only one color is different. Only one mine. color is different, and I picked a burgundy, but and it hers looks is green. so different. My blue is a little different. Mine's a little darker. So I don't know. Yeah. Just because it's a different dye lot, yeah, maybe I it's a so. little bit different of a dye yeah. or whatever. Anyway, so I got this much done. It's um, so nice. So that's called Double Date Sweater. Oh, Sarah. It's so it's nice. And you guys, this And if you want to see like an almost. So nice. If you want to see an almost done version, go back to last week's because we all put it on for the podcast. Yes, and then sure. yeah. promptly needed to cast it on. So Katie has a gorgeous one in like the taupe colorway. This is the 100% baby alpaca from Lion Brand. We ordered it from the website. Okay, yeah, I guess mine's like a little more brown. Not no, it gray. is. It's, it is brown. It's called taupe. They only yeah. have like five or six colors to choose from, and they're all very like black yeah. colors, like like in a good way. In a yeah. good way, because they're, they're just good they're just put your pops of colors in. Yes. So like, I ordered the black. So we'll have black. It is nice. It is That's a what really she nice ordered. feeling yarn. Yeah, it's like so soft. Yeah. yeah. And then I'll have to go down to Tara and get yarn for my color, so that we all have Tara's yarn mm-hmm. as a contrast. As the striping. Yeah. So that's at the down at the maker's market. Yeah. Um. So that went on your needles quite quickly. Actually, yes, on the did. drive down. Yeah, I cast it on on the drive down. We had a bit of work stuff to wrap up. I I yeah. put I sewed this together. I wanted her to get far on this that I sat and, and wound. she hand wound because we forgot her swift and winder. She hand wound it sitting I just on Auntie's desk her to get. Yeah. What a good sister. Yeah. I was like. I'm not doing that for you. I didn't. Yeah, just that was very nice. Because so I was like, oh, I'll just work on my big cozy, which I'm also excited to finish. And I that know. was the only other project I brought. I yeah, know, but this one. But you will. You want to wear this. Wear this. You I know. will live in that sweater. I know. Oh, I'm so excited. And did you get a little done on yours, Katie? Did you do some arm work? No. No. Since last week? I did not. Oh, I thought you put a little bit on your arm. I work. was going to, but I did not. But what did you do? Okay, so I think we showed this yarn last week, and I we did um, show it last week. Cast it on a horn tail beanie, and then I cast this one at Burns. I think I'm gonna just look up the design. The I have it right oh, good. here. Oh, good. So that's horn tail beanie. This designer makes all sorts of cool hats, and we ordered a couple more actually. Yeah. Um. So it is Jenny Noto. Yep. Jenny Noto. And then, so the horn tail, she does lots. And then um, we got the Ridge. Ridgeback beanie. And I've got... Those are... Oh, but, okay, I'm going to see her pattern list because those are both Harry Potter dragon names. I was going to say, that sounds There's familiar. There's a Ridgeback, the Rhodesian Ridgeback or okay, whatever it's so called. So there is this okay, yeah, one. It's so pretty. I'm and passing like, that on. It's really cute in the chunky, but oh, is it ever cute in the worsted ways. Like, so what do you mean? Beautiful. This is not worth it. Nope. But oh, you they, mean show, her sample. they show pictures. It's just of, as cute. Oh, it is. But for some reason, that it, the worst it is like... It's because there's more... Rich, it's just... It's cute. There's more stitches. That's the, Oh, that's adorable. All, so... Hold. All of these toques so far are Harry Potter references. Seriously? Just letting you know. Nice. Every single hat of hers? Yeah. Okay, there's also one more um, I'm doing. I don't know what it's called because Sarah... Scrolled, or you went out of the library. This oh, it's down there. Go down. Go down. What's that one called? This one here. The Vila. Vila. What's that? Is that Harry Potter? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. The um, Vila. Uh, it has sure. to do with the French, the Boba, the Bobatin. You're looking at me like I yeah. know um, anything you're saying. Well, the, she was like part Vila, the one girl that was like so beautiful and pretty, the French girl. Oh yeah, yeah. Fleur Delacour. She married one of the. Jamie um, knows all about it. Jamie knows all the words that are coming out of my mouth. I think I that like, had I think that had something to do with the Vila. Like I think it had to do with the Bobatin. School. Well, that's kind of cool that it's 
Harry Potter. Oh, okay, yeah. these are Chit. gorgeous hats. And then, so then that one is going to be, the Vila is going to be in that car. Aren't those caramel. all pretty colors? So I got these two at the market, actually. Um, and they were from Louise from the Wool Baron. The Quibbler beanie, Incendio beanie. Sarah's lost down around the world. beanie. She's not coming back. I'm just like her beanies are cute. Nimbulous beanie. And I think most like a lot of her beanies are like for like worsted. Ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like they've got it's perfect. Oh yeah, I'm going through. There's bulky, there's looks like worsted. And then DK, I also picked up um some pom poms oh. to go with the toques. Like this so these are for you and your girls. Yeah, they're just yeah. Oh, they're gorgeous. Okay, just on, I'll show you my color because now I think I need to go home and cast on that what what's it called Ridgeback? Yeah, I scooped up um, a couple deals. This too. one's fun. It like it's super it, easy, and you don't need the pattern once you get it. But it's I'm like do got, it in this color. Yeah, I've got these. And two. then whatever you have I left, Jamie's gonna give to me Things because I have the I'll have like colors left over, and then I think oh, I'm sorry. just gonna do a stripey too. Yes, with all this bulky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and my, I like big. Yeah, trucks. this color. Look at look at these five colors I all know. together. Wouldn't that be really cute? And these are all different dyers. Yeah. This one was dyed like years ago when Erin was still Red Fox Fiber. That's oh, right. Great. And then this is Things Created Equal. So I scooped those up from her sale bin. And then we have the Wool Baron. And then the mm -hmm. Wool Baron. So, Katie, now that I see that knit up, I think I have to cast like that on. how Italy. This is Kara. I was going to knit this for Chrissy, actually, for Christmas. And then Kara's like, I want it. Kara wants it. So. Crazy. Crazy. And she's Angie. worn it. It's cold in the mornings. It is and like, cold I think in this would be nice for Kiri. Because she wears like with the gray. Yeah. I think the gray would really go well with lots of things. That's she like purple. purple. I know. It's got a purple base. Yeah. It's so, so pretty. You know what that reminds me of is espresso from Polka Dot Freak. Oh, that's why I was drawn to yeah. it, I bet. Plus, I was drawn to the 40% off. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Oh, I'll take you that. Can't go yeah, wrong I'll take there. those both. You can't go wrong. Well, well nice. and these ones were just in the sale those bin. Those were $20 sale bin. It was perfect. That's like, like exactly what I wanted. Just plain This is a color. Cute, isn't that cute? Cute stitch. I'm, I'm loving this pattern. It is fun. So, Jenny Noto. This is Ridgeback Beanie. Horntail beanie and apparently pick a Harry Potter name and it's a beanie. So yeah. yep. Oh, it is. And it is so much fun reading all of her hat names. Yeah. So check out her on Ravelry. And yeah, I guess I'll be getting some hats too. Just to it's have so or to give or whatever. Tukes. I it's, love chunky too. It is. And it's toque season. It is. Toque time. They yep. are just like one of the funnest knits is a chunky toque. Yes. Love it. Yeah. They're so sassed. Sassed. We're so sassed sass sass to find. Oh, it's like the are. instant gratification. I know. They're what? sassed. Sass. They're sassed. I get it. What size do they're pretty they're sassed. using? 6.5. Is that the biggest it needs? Yeah. Oh, that's uh, nice. The horn tail is, the ribbing is smaller and then you go to a 6.5, but this one is straight up 6.5 from start to finish. Well, I'm thinking I'm going to drop my... See if Tara's open, grab a few needles and other sizes. Maybe I'll grab a 6.5. 6.5 oh, and I'm a 5.5? No, I'm using Sarah's. Ooh. I might have another pair of 6.5. This no, is a 5.5. I want to go buy some. Okay. I wonder what color they are because I like the nitpicks. Um, you know I like my nitpicks. <sighs> That's really fun, Katie. I know. It is fun in the color. Is there any other knitting you brought? No. No, okay. So you're finishing up hats and then you've got your sleeve or your sweater. I will get on that sleeve, but I just, I needed. Nope. You needed to knit those hats. Uh, yeah. I love them. We need hats. We and need I feel hats. like my next week's podcast pro uh, product, product, whatever, will be boring because I'm knitting on the Advent. Right. Not that the Advent's boring, but we can't show it. I can't show it. So. Yes. Uh, we'll come up with, um, well, I'm going to be away for the weekend, so I think I'll probably have lots of knitting. Oh, yeah, some of it will be Advent. Some knitting. of it will be Advent, too. Yeah. But you'll have some other stuff done, though. I know, I'm sorry. There Just was like a little bit of brown sugar at the bottom. As we're trying to have I know, I wanted it all in my drink. It was rude. It was rude. I'm so sorry. This is for all the years of us talking over top. <laughs> where she shakes her ice drink in front of our faces. Right? Totally rude. I still feel like I have to, like, project. Like, I did almost lose my voice this weekend. Um, I'm surprised I didn't. And I'm surprised you didn't. Yeah, and I almost did. My voice is being trained. I don't know. Okay, so just a little bit earlier while Sarah was gone. Well, you were being very social. Apparently drumming. Down to, yeah, I wasn't being a social, maybe. It was being social. Um, 
I oh, was telling I, you. I didn't know where you were going with the drumming thing. When oh. Sarah was down drumming, I was like, wait, what? Where was I? When she was drumming, um, I, feel like I, I was wasn't telling drumming. you about the coalescent shawl that is out at Knit City on Saturday. will also be up on Rav. Yes. This is my version. I am very much coalescing my yarns because I am just picking all the random. I love it though. It but looks I'm, so good together. Yeah, I'm quickly doing a quick test. No, it was split. No, Double check. That, it was like had a knot like a from the manufacturer. You know how they have a little <coughs> knot? Oh. oh. And it do the magic out. knot. No, I'm not using the rest of that. This tiny little oh. piece. I can do the magic them. knot for you. You do you. You can totally do it. And oh, you could do it on it to this, to yeah. my new one. I thought, okay, that makes sense. Oh, I just spit uh, you could spit splice it, could you not? Um, it should be. It's 100% alpaca. Yeah, but it's really, I don't know. It's really smoothy. It's not grabby like wool is. Yeah. Well, it is wool, but it's alpaca. No, no, no. Yeah, but you know what I mean. Just kidding. I know what you mean, sir. <laughs> I totally know. So anyway, this is the coalescent shawl. It is super fun to knit. Um, like I said, I'm just sort of grabbing. So right now I'm in this section here. And some Surrey and all of the things. Does he need help? Oh, it's your kid. I thought it was my kid. Um, oh, it's your kid. It's your kid. Deal with him. Anyway, that is what I've been knitting on today at the dentist and a few different things just working away on this. So I think I showed it last week. So that'll be out this weekend, the pattern. It's a big asymmetrical shawl, big asymmetrical triangle. And yeah. I feel like it's been a while since I've done an asymmetrical triangle. I enjoyed it. Well, I'm totally enjoying this it. knit. I really enjoyed all, like, I mean, there's always parts in the design process. I'm not gonna like try to sugarcoat it that really suck. Mm -hmm. And there's always those things that happen in a design. But that one was really fun. Like, I, ha I struggled with it at the beginning a little bit. Like, I had a hard time, my own self, wrapping my head around the all the stuff. Well, different fibers. Different fibers. Different kind of everything. Different and I, weights of yarn. Yeah. And it took me a hot minute to get it on, but once that thing went on the needles, it flew off. It did fly. It really did. It's yeah. a very enjoyable knit. I enjoyed designing it. There's always something changing. You're changing yarns. You're changing yeah. stitch patterns. It's a net. Yeah. It's always go, go, go. Yeah. Yeah. So I really enjoyed it. I loved all the yarns I worked with. Oh yeah, so you can pick those up at Brittany's booth. So Crux Fibers, and she will fill you in on all the details of what you need for the shawl. Um, but otherwise Ooh, you can just stash bust. Holy fresh ball. Here we go. It's all yeah. janky. That is super oh, fun. That is janky okay, a little bit. Just yep. start like that. Just pull the oh, huge chunk off. Um, well, the next thing I just quickly knit a little bit on, well, I should have been work knitting, but I didn't. And this is also what I bought. One of the things I bought, can I show it? Yeah, do it. Because I got more on. I'm excited just for you Just a little bit, this. but I'm really excited. So I scooped up. Oh, I kept going back Jamie to had fun. It was, yes. She had she, fun this we trip. Were sitting she treated up, herself. Yeah. We were sitting up in the knitting area, like the little lounging uh, area. And Jamie was like, I just have to go back down. I, I just, just have, have to, to go, go back down. I could not leave Brian alone. I knew I had to come back with something from Brian Dye Works. And it had to be this. It's a thin. Thin is a type of sheep. Oh, so did you I know? I promptly learned Thin on our... a type of sheep. We did a Patreon live. We're back to our Monday Night Lives on Patreon. And so Jody promptly told me that Finn is a, D, a kind of sheep. This is a Finn DK Worsted. You know, our like viewers or Patreons or whatever, like you guys um really give us the knowledge that oh, we yeah. have you know what i mean especially, like all like our like especially on our lives because they can talk right back to they us, can talk so right back like, to us and <laughs> we were having like pronunciation lessons oh, man. on we the learned. patreon we were learning how to say words yeah we it did so much fun <laughs> we're, we get educated katie's probably even like what katie doesn't come but she katie should start come. coming all right hold it up katie so i promptly cast on nice. jamie was wearing it last week magnolia bloom which is going to keep your neck real It warm. is because it's double thick and I knit it longer than I did my purple one. Did you, eh? I did. Do I have a picture of Magnolia Bloom? You can't always see oh, the, it's so the stitch pretty. pattern. No, you can't really see it. There's some bobbles. Where are those bobbles? Yeah. 
Look up Magnolia Bloom. There's also a cardigan version, so I've knit this already. And There's then a it cardigan picks. version. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. No, I don't want a cardigan. No, 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 no. no. I don't want to. I and, want this sweater. Yeah. And yeah. I'm gonna borrow her burgundy one. She's gonna get it because it's gonna be perfect color for Sarah. Oh, it yeah. is. I steal all your burgundy things. That's why I knit them. It's I enjoyed so it. Pretty. I'll pass that on to Sarah. You know, and this, I will is wear my almost a, this is almost. Get a your burgundy. hands off my name. <laughs> this thing took me four years to knit. I gave my name to Christina. That's way nice. But I, did I say back then? I guess when she's I gave a bit it to net her? worthy. Yeah. Just kidding. Pretty much. Our sister. Um, did I say that I was going to knit another Mema? That I was thinking about knitting another Mema? What, what, what did I have in mind for that? Like, what yarn? What no, I, I don't think you actually had a yarn picked out. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm done now. I you know. are being you guys, rude. That was, that was a good coffee. <laughs> I'm glad. This, have you ever had the brown sugar shaken oat espresso? from Starbucks. That's Katie's go-to in the yeah. summer or fall. And I wanted like a warmy coffee because lately I've been drinking so much of the iced coffee. I know, I got warm too. This that time. I was like, you know what? I haven't had a classic cinnamon dolce latte. That's what I have too. Half sweet in a long time. Like just your classic. We just went, we just went classic bucks today. Yeah. I just went, classic. Yeah. So yes, this is what rogue. this is going to look like. Rogue. rogue one. You can see that there are little baubles or nups as they're called in the pattern. It's a super fun lace chart with little baubles, and it's just enjoyable. I am, I'm putzing on it, let's just say. I'm intrigued to see you in green. I'm pretty excited. I think I got into green yeah. after that stinking shirt yeah. that we held up at Hippie Strings Podcast. And I know, knitting the Noni, for... and then I also am knitting my green Noni, which this is pretty much all I knit on while we were traveling, because I apparently... Got car sick knitting the other thing. So I put again a couple mm, more inches. Look we how both long got my car is. Sick. Oh, look at you. You're getting length I on think there. It's almost done. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's so funny. So this is the Noni top. But it is getting longer. By Pip and Pin. I'm using Cascade, I don't know, fingering. I don't know what the Cascade something. Cascade, I don't know. It's their fingering wool. Yeah. Um, and so that is what's happening. Apparently green. I tried to get Sarah to buy all the green. You need, yeah, she did. Um, she really tried to get me to buy all the green. Then you need a nice, cute, like, mustardy toque to go along with this. I do need a mustardy toque. Because there's hints of, like, yeah. She had a shawl done up in this so you could see the light. Little bit of variegation, like nothing serious. Yeah, but it's got that. That would be nice. Yeah, honey. that would be nice. <laughs> Did you just say that would be nice on me? Yeah, I did. <laughs> That's so funny. On that trade be, for any of these? That would sure be nice on me. Trade, yeah. Oh, I don't care. No, I'm teasing. Katie. I'll trade. No, I don't I'm care. I'm totally joking. I can pick up some. Doesn't matter I'm to sure me. I'm not a toque already in that color. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you probably do. If but it doesn't hard. matter to me. If you want to trade, I. Oh, I'm just kidding. You just go ahead and knit it. <laughs> I'll give you another skein to knit. Just kidding. Yeah, knit it for Jamie and then. Just knit it for me. No, that's awesome. I've been enjoying these you. little toques. Oh, they're a nice break. They are. They so are. that's all I got. That's it? Nope. I was gonna say. I was like, wait, there's something missing here. But do you have anything else you're knitting on no, the show? No, I I don't have anything. I don't want to just steal the show. No, you're fine. We'll we'll okay. We'll sit back and listen patiently. I got a few more because this is so nice. Did I mention I'll last week? Well, it's right on my phone. Oh, Carrie, yeah, you can bring phone. it up. Oh, Carrie has my phone. I don't know if last week I talked about how pretty it was. I think I did mention I it to you guys. I did. I thought so. Because I, said, I have not seen Hohi's latest know. sweater, the Instant Crush. Well, I crushed on it. I crushed hard. You crushed hard. And on then that. I walked in and saw Sassy Strings mohair all lined up, and then I crushed on that, and then I bought it. So this is what I'm going to knit. <laughs> oh, it's so nice. Okay, show it, Katie. And it's not green. So it's just like a little pullover. Oh, mohair held oh, double. Mohair. Yeah. It's going to be, that's going to feel like nothing. It's going to feel like gloriousness. So I want that so bad. I love the colors. So that's what we did. So we it's going to be navy. Navy's the main color. And then it'll have these three pops coming through it. Which I think will be really pretty. What booth was this from? Sassy, Sassy strings. Sassy strings. And like, it was like all Her their top. 
It was literally, she had laid it. I actually didn't even, it was funny because I and went down there. All you could see yep. looking over people's heads. It is all you could see. She had a market. really she had nice. such a nice booth. Yes. And her colors were just, they were spot on. Oh, they all. And it was such, it was so eye-catching. Yeah, it was. It was so eye-catching that I couldn't stop thinking about it. So I went down and got it. I didn't even realize there was more colors and mohair under it. I yeah. only could see, see those ones. These colors. Yeah. That's all I could see. Because then she had, like, displayed the, like, fingering, DK, and worsted counterparts of, like, those colors yeah. all along the top. It must be her new collection. Yeah, her colors for are just or something because absolutely gorgeous. It was just, like, showcased so nicely. Yeah. So I don't know when that will go on the needles, but probably sooner than later. We'll see. We are. Maybe it'll be my reward for when I finish our final work project. I think you yes. should get it on and start That's working perfect. on Tuesday. That's kind of what the Stephen we West is going to be for me. I know. The Stephen West, yeah. So. Can you do Stephen West with us? No. <laughs> you might enjoy it. Maybe. You enjoyed the socks. I did. Imagine that in a huge scale shawl. Eh. <laughs> Maybe. Over it? I don't. Maybe you'll see. I don't want to. I know you don't really wear them a ton, right? No, you're into doing like sweaters. Yeah, I don't yeah. like things around my neck. Yeah. So no, that's fine. That's fair. Um, sorry. No, that's all. You're okay. You're allowed to feel you like that. Feel. <laughs> Just tell us how you really feel. Tell us how you really feel. She doesn't want to knit one. I don't don't make her. Quit yelling at me. Oh, that's so funny. Um, I scooped up a little quick skein of oh, comfy right, cozy knits in her self striping. She actually just posted on her Instagram that she's gonna start really focusing just on mostly just self striping and a few tonals. So she actually has a sale going on oh. on her website. So check her out. Nice. And who else said they were clearing out a base a DK? Oh no, maybe that was her clearing out her DK. Sorry. Yeah, I think she's clearing out her DK base or something. Anyway, she's got a check sale out going on. Sales comfy sale. cozy knits. I just thought those are pretty stripes. Um, and then I scooped up oh, that's a so new nice. to me bag maker, white dog designs. Such a cute little bag. And it's not only a cute bag, it is also waterproof. So, so she can inside spell the entire and copy in there. Out. Inside and out. It is just the cutest little mitt. Just remember your yarn isn't I waterproof. I saw something in there. No, the yarn's not Should waterproof. Should we test it out? Yeah, right? Shake it. So it's got a little leather handle, the cutest little yarn balls. I just thought that'd be perfect for a toque. I'll probably pop a toque in. Maybe I'll cast this yarn one on and I'll knit this toque up tonight. Wouldn't that be perfect? Perfect. So I think maybe I will do that. That is all. Legit. That's all I bought. Yeah. So had a little splurge. Um Thanks to the puppy. And then we went to Ikea. <laughs> and then we went to Ikea, and that was a, an experience. And a you guys one. had a fun time. We had a I great had time. so much fun. I enjoyed myself so much. We weren't, we're not even being sarcastic. No, I'm not, because they didn't want to go. I no. don't No, that wasn't it. That wasn't totally the truth. <clears throat> but the last time we went. We could have taken it or, or Me left and it. Jamie just went up and sat in the restaurant while Katie and Christina In Vancouver, shopped. yeah. In Vancouver, yeah. Or I made them follow the arrows with me. We followed oh, them. I enjoyed myself so I much. enjoyed it so much that I'm actually probably going to be back there on Sunday when we go back through everything. Exactly. So I was like, ooh, ooh, bring the family through. Mm -hmm. I know. It's it's fun when you like actually, yeah. It's fun. You know, it is fun things. when you it, actually, yeah. When you actually, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just bought everything. Everything was for Chrissy that I bought. Yeah. For her birthday or Christmas present. Yeah. But that's good. You got that mostly done. Yeah. And just a few little nicky knackies and here and there. And pretty well everything is like in the her green, like tealy color that she likes. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's her color right now. Yeah. Yeah, a little more green than that, but yeah. 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 No, it was awesome. So this color right there. Uh, oh, yeah. Exactly. Like you were gonna do that toque for her and then your daughter promptly stole yeah. it. Yeah. So a couple treats that we got. We want to show these beautiful minis off. Oh, I'm sure we'll give away something at some point, but I love all of these too I know. much. I don't think we'll, I think these are going to be keepers. So we met, we got to meet Cindy, who is Cindy Marie Creates. And if you guys are going to Knit City, oh, yes. please stop by her booth and show her some love. It's her first time going to Knit City. So she gave us, um, along with our, we got some Goldies mugs, of course, from the pajama party. 
but she gifted us with these beautiful mini skeins. They're so nice. Mm -hmm. And I cannot wait. This one's so pretty. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, and then this one is just super fun. Yeah. So we've got Bright Blossoms. And this one is called Cherry Blossom Bloom. And what's that one called? Um, oh, right there. Daisies, Daisies in Waiting. Daisies in Waiting. So stop by and check out Cindy Marie in Knit City because let me tell you what, she's got gorgeous colors. Yes, she does. She's got a great eye for color. Yeah. yeah. I think I want to, I still want to make those. I love every year I see Shelly, Polka Dot Creek. She posts her mini skein mittens that she makes oh, out of these little bouquets. Nice. So she folds them with like a, str a strand of say base, like plain mohair. And then you knit the stripes up the mitten. It's really the cute. Oh, I could do so something cute. like that. Yeah, they're that really, really fun. cute. So a great way to use your mini skeins. Um, and just all the colors are already coordinated. Like I like when people pre-coordinate yeah. them. Yeah, because that's what I'm the worst at. I'm like, I don't know. So they all just really go well together. So Cindy Marie Creates, definitely check that out. And then, um, oh, these are also Cindy Marie. Okay, I was like, these are the cutest little stitch markers and buttons that we got. Oh, I know. Cindy Marie. They're so cute. So they, I did not realize they were hers. I did not read oh, the yeah, tag until now. Oh yeah, those are really now. cute buttons. They're yeah, super they really cute. are. And the little stitch marker. So thank you, Cindy. So definitely check Cindy out. Oh, oh, that'd be cute. Oh, oh no. button on there. I'm just like Kate's looking at buttons. I'm looking. And then these are from Shivering Leaf Designs. I really like these pretty things too for hanging for little stitch markers. Mm -hmm. So that's really pretty. Thank you, ladies. And then of course Tara from that yarn habit made up the mugs for. And then the yarn was Kim and Colin that everyone got. And then that was with our pattern, Comfort and Joy. So oh, it was such, it a, was fun such a fun collab. Yeah. Okay. Let me show you what came in the mail, guys. Oh yeah. I need this. So Brenda, 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 she sent me, so she is, okay, so I've got her Etsy shop here, Knitter's Elegance, Knitter's Elegance is her shop on Etsy. She sent us, check these out. Now these are stitch markers. Let me, can I, can I preface, but I was going to read Can I this. preface this real quick by saying Jamie could have used these, like she can use them all the time, all weekend you could have yeah. even. Before I open up what was in this little package, I read this. Listen, these are needle size markers. They are designed to be clipped to your work shortly after you cast on. That way, if you take the needles or hook for a different project, you will always know what, what size, size you need. What a good idea. When you go back, because I'm always stealing oh, it's my kind needles. Of blurry, but. And she says that she can customize, um, you can talk to her like, if you don't want the bigger sizes because you only knit like no bigger than four. You know what I mean? Like just yeah. so you can customize it. But she's currently on Etsy as Knitter's Elegance and she is in Calgary. Oh, that is the coolest thing. So here they thing. are. I'm going to see if I can get it to zoom in except I think we locked it on Katie's face. So I don't think we can. Can we? Oh, I don't know. Nope. So you can't see the numbers. I'm going to unlock it. Do it. I'm going to unlock it. Ho, 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 ho. Watch. Come on. Oh, lame. Sorry, I don't know. Maybe I didn't do it right. I don't know. But make sure you relock it. Oh, anyway. Maybe I didn't even actually unlock it. There's numbers. Just trust us. They're yeah. adorable. They're so pretty. So yeah, that is you such a cool it. idea. I'm keeping these pink ones. Do it. Let's see here. I have to press the unlock at this point. I think unlocked? I just locked it again. Oh, guys, I can't I'm be bothered. To my face. Okay, we're Ugh, not. Sorry. Yeah, I was no. covering your guys' face. You can tell there's numbers. It's a brilliant idea, Brenda. Yeah, that's a great idea. So, Knitter's Elegance on Etsy. And get yourself a set of needle size markers. Hokey Dinah. Those are sweet. Hokey Dinah. Hokey Dinah. I am pulling out all the words. Um, I think... We're going to talk about JoJo bags? Yeah. Do you guys have any other knitting? Nope. Okay. Nope. I'm going to keep those safe. Mom brought some brand new bags to Prairie when she was there. She had a new, um, a new pattern I hadn't actually seen yet. 
So she's only got a couple of them left because a couple of them went flying out the door. Yep. So we've shown off, okay, we've shown off her knit night. She has a couple knit night bags left. So one in the red and then needles and notions to go along with that. We've got quite a few. Oh yes, everyone wanted more autumn blessing because she yes. did it once and then it sold out like super fast. It is such an I that's such my favorite nice fabric. It is such right a nice now. fabric. I love it. So yeah. here's the autumn blessing. Oh, and here's one more. She's got a medium zip, large zip, needles and notions, and a sock set sack. And then Oh, I'm lying. There's also what's that? I bumped I my know. knee on the table. There's a drawstring and bag as well. Okay, it sounds. Like I don't it. know what it clinked though. Like I don't know why it made that noise. Okay. Oh, there's a drawstring as well in the knit night pattern. But then she has, and she only has these two left. Now this needs to go as a together. Oh yes. This is gorgeous. So this is her totes awesome. Hold that up. That's like the black pleather Ooh, and a matching wallet. That's nice. Oh, I think it was Martina that scooped up this. She had two of these wallets and I think she scooped one up on the weekend. But look at that. Beautiful. Her wallets are so nice. And her totes awesome has a ton of like pockets inside and it's like totes awesome. It's totes awesome. And then we've got a cozy up medium zip left. Got a couple of her um, fun like pool backpacks. Oh, I call them that because my kids yeah. would be using these as pool bags. Well, like, yeah, exactly. Because they're mesh. They're perfect. Oh, and she still has one lemon, <gasps> one lemon uh, beach bag left. Oh, that's so cute. So that's a few of the goodies that are in her shop. That is linked below Jojo Bags by Jody. I'll just start putting them back in one by one as we finish up here. And <clears throat> You can scoop those up. Anything else, guys? Oh, I hear wildness coming up the mm -hmm. stairs. Um, it's happening. We talked quickly about our Patreon. We do have one. And mm -hmm. so the link is also below. Come and join us over there. We're just gearing up for... Kind of a couple of fun fall yeah, things. Fun, like, fun games. And did our, we start a middle yeah. on? Did we, we start that already? We started the upper body garment. Get along. Oh, that's what you Over called on it. Patreon, yeah, because we we, just we had a big fun. laugh about it. We were having the other a good night. time. Because yeah. sweaters, tank tops, cardigans, well, cardigans. Everything. We were trying to say there's really no rules. Well, how about dog pants? So I wrote on the thing, no dog pants. That's not that's for funny. upper body. Dog sweaters, but no dog pants. That's so funny. Anyway, so you can come join us there. We might be gearing up to play some more. Yeah, I think we're gonna start games. getting ready to start a new game. So yeah, yeah. getting uh. Ready for that? What and game? Can you say it or no? Well, yeah, I think we're we'll just, do bingo we're again. We're gonna run yeah. bingo again. We're gonna we're gonna make a few tweaks. Yeah. So we're getting some feedback from our from our Patreons, and yeah. gonna make it hopefully just as good, if not better, yeah. than the first round. Which I think it was fine. Like I hope everybody had fun. Oh, doing we've it. got great feedback. Yeah. Great so feedback. probably the only negative feedback is Jamie took too long to send the prizes. But I'll be better this time because but that's like Sarah said rolls. she'd help me this time. Yeah, I don't mind doing it. Get it all ready for me and put the app. That's what I don't want to do. I'll go to the post office. I don't want to do either of those things. But I do not want to have anything to do with like writing out. Mom used to do it when she, when yeah. she was here and then she would do it. But I will go to the physical post office if okay. you do the writing. We'll get the prizes out too quicker, ladies, I promise. So that's over on Patreon. And then this weekend, watch for a couple new patterns. Go scoop up comfort and joy. Yep. Yeah. And we got coalescence and um, fireweed wrap coming out this weekend. Yeah. And, and if you guys are going to Knit City, have so much fun. And say hi to everyone say that hi we to know. Everybody. Say hi to my friend Tanya. <laughs> so Our friend Tanya. I know that was like, ah, uh, because we do want to meet them. Dang it. It's so funny It'll to happen. me that like some people that we just, we've never actually met in life. I know. It's weird. It feels weird. So I'm like, I know you so good. Yeah, exactly. And anyway. All right, so. friends, I guess we'll see you next time. Have a great week. And yeah. yeah. Was that a snore? I don't know. Was it a snort maybe or a <laughs> snore? Happy New Year. I don't want to be any more awkward. That was so funny. <laughs>